Hi everybody, this is Bruce here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Traveling with Bruce. Please subscribe to my channel today and become a key supporter of Traveling with Bruce by clicking the Patreon link. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Uh, another update here from the hurricane situation that uh, devastated the Caribbean region in Florida. Uh, of course, first we had Hurricane Irma and, and Hurricane Maria. Uh, the latest news we're getting out of uh, the region now is is the uh, frustrating situation that uh, residents and, and stranded tourists are finding, and that is the lack of communication. Uh, as we can see here by the uh, by the map, uh, Puerto Rico is at the top, San Juan just a little below it. Here's uh, Puerto Rico. We've heard all kinds of problems. Puerto Rico has had at one time 1,600 cell phone towers are uh, out of commission. About 20 or so are working. And uh, here's an example of some of the roadways there. It's just terrible. Puerto Ricans have uh, found a new way, uh, some of them, to, to communicate with the outside world. They're getting in their cars, driving along the highway until their cell phone gives them any kind of a signal bar. And some of the cell phone towers that are up uh, are allowing them to receive and send text messages. And some of these text messages they're getting are three, four, five days old of, of relatives worried about them either on the island trying to reach them, uh, direct relatives, friends, co-workers, and then, of course, uh, in the mainland back in the U.S. And so this has been a lifeline for a number of uh, Puerto Ricans uh, to, to try to get messages back home to friends and family. Here in St. Croix, this island is only 20-odd miles off the southeastern uh, coast of uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, the situation just is dire, but um, the story came out uh, this morning that was very disturbing. A cell tower was actually looted. Uh, they, there was only one cell tower working on the island, and it was looted, and the generator that powered the cell tower was stolen. And so uh, all communication, as bad as it was, uh, here's an example of a typical cell tower, as bad as it was, was totally shut down. All internet, all telephone service. Uh, luckily, a local resident donated a generator that, that he had and also offered to guard the cell tower 24-7 with armed security to protect it. And so the AT&T people on site reconnected a, a different generator to the tower, hot-wired it into the switching unit, and have got it up partially up running. And uh, uh, this type of devastation here is, is heartbreaking to see. These kinds of stories coming out are, are really unfortunate. But it's just showing you the kind of desperation that is setting in. Lack of water, medicine, food, refrigeration... Uh, that type of thing, and uh, the story just keeps getting worse. Anyway, that's an update, and I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.